Welcome back, 0K fans, to the bronze match. Google Frog versus Lowry on... Oh, well, actually, Lowry versus Google Frog on... Well, first map is Valdez Mountain Adders, and then after that it's just a matter of who picks, but... Yeah, game one on Valdez Mountain Adders, which I'm surprised has become as popular as it has on 0K. I only encountered it because of Nada, but... And the Nada tournament that I did a few months ago. But yeah, it's actually become something that people play in 0k as well. So it is the first match for the or first map for the bronze match. And we are starting. Lowry in the west side of the map is going for shield bots. And Google Frog on the east side of the map is going for cloaky bots. And last time we saw this map, it was I think on the 2v2. And actually it was several times on the 2v2. There was one match with Google Frog and Aquanim where Aquanim went air start, Google Frog went, I think, spiders or something. And I don't know, it was Golda that had some weird play. I mean overall. This map gets some odd play sometimes, but Shields versus Cloaky is about as bog standard as it gets. The map is a little bit big, but it's actually... I don't know if it's not that big, honestly. I think it's actually smaller than I have Horus. I have to check the measurements, because I think this might only be about 16 big. And I think it's 16... I think it's 12... like 16 wide, 12 high. Anyway. Loudly starting out with about... Well, I started with about five bandits into... Sorry, two bandits into Convict and more bandits into Convict. Google Frog started out with about three Glaives into a Conjurer. Pretty typical, slightly aggressive start. But that's how players tend to go. So that's not at all surprising. And Lowry is going to be... What's Lowry going to be doing here? Well, defending, obviously. He has to do that. While also mostly expanding to the north, while Google Frog mostly expanding to the south, I should point out, this map does not have fully regulated metal spots, but they are, I believe, all the same. They should be all the same. I don't know of anything different, but they're all similar to Lewid, so it's a little bit finicky. It can be finicky, at least. In this case, it's fine. And they gain a melee structure up. Google Frog is a slightly behind Lowry right now. The Google Frog does have... Now, just even metal, but then again, Lowry's gaining another metal extractor, so really, Lowry has a slight economic advantage. Or she knows, it's about the same. Never mind. Okay, so Google Frog actually looks like they're expanding along the north and south at the same time, while Lowry mostly just expanding to the north. And expanding to the northwest and the north center. But yeah, this is how it's going to go. Very quickly, you're going to have a lot of units be built. It's not going to be much raiding. There's going to be some raiding, and there's going to be a lot of raiders. But it's mostly going to be raiders fighting each other because that's the speed of the map. However, this map, I don't think it's going to last on the raider phase that long. I don't think it's going to last unusually long, like, say, CCR tends to do. I'm pretty sure it is smaller than CCR. And it's also... Well, hillier, at least. So it's more conducive to bots than anything else, and more conducive to ambushes, and more conducive to range advantage. Although, admittedly, that doesn't come up much in 0k. I mean, it comes up, but you're not likely to just be sticking a hammer on top of the hill here to shoot down your opponents, or the hill here. I kind of knew players did that, but I don't think it's going to happen. That seems unlikely. However, oh, ooh, nice! Louder very quickly getting some roaches up for defense from the looks of it, but we'll see if they're used offensively. And... Bandits coming along the southeast side of the map. Google Frog well aware of this and prepared has radar around the map. Lowry, on the other hand, has radar on their corner, but that's about it. And Lowry really is not putting themselves in the best position. It's not an impossible position, but it's not the best position. They could be could be a better position. Gotta be honest. Oh, right, scores. I know, I know. I've gotta make this a internal thing. I just don't know exactly. It's more a matter of keeping it persistent across games. Because 0k, you have to quit out, basically, because the lobby na handles all that stuff, so you have to quit out between every game. So I was trying to figure out how to keep it persistent is the problem. But that's not the point. The point is, Lowry and Google Frog are even. They're very even, though Google Frog has a bit better territory position. Definitely pushing out farther into the center, and Lowry 
Gonna be doing some harassment along the back here, although losing both bandits, so not much harassment, mind you. Well, Loudry in a corner, and not really pushing out of that too quickly. There is a convict going along the south side of the map, which will be able to expand along there, and thus more economy, but really... Loudry's kind of behind for territory. Though at the same time, that does mean Google Frog's a bit more open. Not much more open, though. I mean, with the radar here, it's actually not that hard. And Google Frog putting in even more radar, pushing further forward, and Loudry's still kind of in the dark. Outside of their own corner of the map. I haven't really done any scouting outside of that, and that Roach, too, is also... Not right here for defensive purposes. So if something comes through here, it's going to blow up. But then, why would it? Because this whole area is bot passable. They just go over the cliff, pretty much. No reason not to, honestly. And Google Frog looks like they're going to do just that. Going over the cliff, and Loudy has to prepare for that, getting their bandits in position. Or, actually, wait, no, that's out of position. Oh, I see. Google Frog going for a flank. There we go. That's what it is. Google Frog's got the flank going, so... First four set of glaives coming... First set of four glaives coming in here, while the rest of the army, and pretty large army that is, go along the north side in order to deal with this. So it is... Well, everything's out of position. And all these glaives can go forward. Why are they not going forward? What are these glaives doing? It's one lotus. Google Frog, what are you doing? There's a single lotus there. Not that big of a deal. Oh, now the Roach is here, yeah. But flank time was completely ruined. Now back at home, it looks like Jiro's normal plant coming up, but no factory switch. Google Frog just pushing for more power. Going for size as well. Curious that. Possibly to not get rid of the felon, I would imagine, but possibly to get rid of metal extractors, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure why Google Frog didn't go for that attack. That, that was really, really weird. So Lowry is taking the north as well as the east side. And right now, Lowry does have a bit more radar. But that's about it. And just sees a bunch of glazed radar dots. So vaguely aware of what's going on, but not super aware. And Google Frog, on the other hand... Doesn't really know anything about the inside of Loudy's base other than what has been seen on buildings and such. But that's about it. Should know about this force coming in though. Does have some defenders built up as well, and the commander is upgraded, but light particle beam on a support com. The weapon's good, but the chassis will not last super long. While on the north side of the map, Loudy going for a bunch of defenders, just spamming defenders. Surprisingly, not spamming them up the hill, though. That's kind of weird. Not going up here first, but then again, there are defenders on the other side. So, sorry, there are glaives on the other side. So that would rather stop it. However, there are also glaives up here. Google Frog has been quite good about keeping their glaives around the map. So, radar and line of sight working together very nicely. While Loudy doesn't really have that, unfortunately. Loudy, however, does have a felon, but not much in the way of support troops. Convicts are being built up. Looks like Felon Convict Ball is the order of the day. And it also looks like it's going to be stopped pretty quickly by just a bunch of glaives and some sides coming up to the north to get rid of... Not sure what. I think they're trying to figure out good targets. No real juicy targets have been built up so far. No fusion reactors. There are the factories and there are metal extractors, but nothing other than that. There's a single juicy target. So instead going for defenders. Interesting choice. However, it looks like there's no real support here, so honestly, they just kind of go for anything. No, not that that means that it's a good idea necessarily, but at least that does reduce some of the missiles on these defenders. This defender here still has its missiles. It has reloaded, and there goes that particular glaive. At the same time, over the south side of the map, a couple of Faradays are keeping are keeping Lowry at bay, but honestly, Lowry is pushing pretty hard through the map. And the felons coming through, a felon will be able to get rid of the glaives without too much issue. I mean, four glaives wouldn't be enough. Two dozen glaives probably would get rid of a felon. Actually, no, they get rid of a felon. That wouldn't be a problem. Now, two dozen glaives against a felon ball, different matter entirely. But a single felon, no, it's not a problem. They lose a lot of glaives in the process, but then the shield energy would go down, and the glaives have no problem just finishing off the felon. That is the tricky thing about felon, of course, is the shield energy thing. They spend shield energy, and they become a lot more vulnerable as a result of that, which is a little bit perfect. Or is a little bit problematic, but. Well, not problematic. It's how it works. It's the balancing around that. It's problematic if you don't expect it. 
However, what also isn't expected is six Valkyries worth of warriors. And last time we saw this, it actually won the game. And Deep Strike Warriors, that's exactly what it is. Thank you, King Raptor. I need a name for that. Deep Strike Warriors coming in, getting rid of everything. A Roach, however, will try to stop them. We'll only get one. And Outlaw trying to stop the rest. And that will actually be more successful. Though, even though, even though it was done, despite the Outlaw, this factory, Air Factory is... Oh my goodness, 16 health left. And Google Frog saves the Air Factory. Sorry, not Google Frog. Louder saves the Air Factory. Google Frog fails to kill it. With Deep Strike Warriors. And I think we might be seeing... Well, okay, it's Brawler from here. Going to Brawlers from here, but at this point, there will be some anti... No one... Well, there's Hawks, I guess. That's, that's about it. Got rid of the Airplane Factory. That would be a big difference. But unfortunately, did not. However, there are Bandits going over to the south, and Loudly going for some counterattack. Getting rid of a Metal Extractor, getting rid of a Conjurer, getting rid of Radar. Might try to get rid of this Metal Extractor here, but the Lotuses are too numerous. They will kill the Bandits. I, one of them won't even get any shots off before it gets killed. This one over here. And Brawler's getting rid of Lowry's commander. So Lowry loses their commander, but at this stage of the game, it doesn't matter. I mean, this this map is basically a more interesting CCR. Like, it has all the size and metal of CCR, but with actually interesting terrain that makes it worthwhile to worry about high ground, low ground, and generally be mindful of what's going on. Thus, it makes bots useful on a map this size. But Google Frog is still pretty behind. Okay, Google Frog's ahead economically and militarily in theory, but a lot of that is brawlers for which Loudly has type advantage on. Or just straight up doesn't care about and just go on the ground. They're way out of position. Just go somewhere else. The south side is basically a stalemate. And Google Frog's base, well, more Banshee's more, ban brawlers. Well, you need to be streamed out, as do Gremlins. Although Brawler is doing pretty well for the anti-air, as I've been pointing out here. Brawler is best AA, as said there. However, I'm really surprised that the Felon is not being used as part of a ball. Like, solo Felon you don't see. Ever. No one does it. Because the Felon needs the shields in order to actually work for any extended period of time. And convicts work pretty well because convicts can heal them as well, so both shields and health get repaired or get reinforced. However, Zeus coming along the southwest side of the, or the center west side of the map from south, going up to Lowry's base pretty directly, and not much is going to stop them that Lowry has set up immediately. Though Lowry could of course set up some ravens. Actually, Lowry does have some ravens. How many ravens does Lowry have? Lowry has one. Has raven. And Google Frog continuing to build up down here, repairing on the Brawlers, and is going to break this no man's land with the Brawlers. For which there's really not more much argument because the Brawlers are basically going to win. They are. Even with the Swiss coming in here, I think the Brawlers are probably going to do a decent job of getting through them. But yeah, this this is it for the well. The Brawlers basically have it. So Southwest side being broken open, and with that, Glaives start to stream in, or maybe not. Quite stream. Stream is not quite the right, right word yet. And like the gremlins, but units are going to be able to get through here, and with that opening, basically tear apart Lowry's base from both sides. Though the front side is actually hard to get through. This, this choke point's harder to get to than the south choke point now. But then again, this is 10 brawlers. And that, well, 8 brawlers up front, and 2 coming up from behind. That's pretty much death. I mean, this is going to be, well, another middle structure down, and Lowry's, Lowry is going to be hitting the factories directly pretty soon. Brawlers is being sent around just to try to deal with the can that's off to the side. Stopping some commerce and banking a Cobra, although, no, they got time. They got plenty of time, and the Brawlers are going to be able to take care. No, not even bothering. Just double checking if there are other factories down south. And there aren't. But there is a jump factory for Google Frog, going for proxy jump factory, and Cloakbot's getting more Zeus's, and there's enough... How many scythes are there, by the way? Scythe here, five scythes being deployed, and I don't know where. 
No, really, I don't know where they are. Presumably they're okay. There they are. There, some of them. Up no, those are those are gremlins, or not gremlins. They are something else now. I can't remember the name of them actually. Oh, they are gremlins. Never mind. Okay, that was apparently changed back. Yeah, even the vandals cannot do much, unfortunately, against the brawlers. The awesome might of brawler, and the roach even doesn't. Do the roach just kills his own vandal. So ultimately, that will be it for this game. I think Loudry's probably going to lose. After losing their factory, actually their factories, it's going to be it. Loudry won't have much. I mean, there is this. Co this Cobra's doing what it can. I think he's going to take out a brawler or two. Maybe. No, not even bother. Just get rid of the fusion reactor. Use that explosion to kill the Cobra and some caretakers, and then kill the factories, and that'll be it. The brawlers are in, and Lowry, GG's, and we are moving on to game two. So that is a game. Be back with another one once Lowry chooses the map. How long it's going to take? Okay, but anyway, that is that, so I'll be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is game two of Google Frog Lowry Bronze Match at the July 1v1 Zero K tournament. And we're going to be having Geyser Plains as the map of choice. Lowry shows that after losing the last game. So we will see how that goes for them. I'm curious if it's going to be another hovercraft mirror because we do. See, although Lowry didn't go for hovercraft last time, though on that map, I'm not surprised. But Lowry has really enjoyed their hovercraft. And last time we saw this map was a hovercraft mirror, so I almost wouldn't be surprised if that came up again. But just wait for them to start once they. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this should be interesting. I mean, last game was basically just a matter of Google Frog had so much pressure applied. Like, Lowry really did not push out or raid very much. Tried near the beginning, and then after that, just kind of let Google Frog build up. And tried to build up themselves, but ultimately Google Frog just won out. The Brawlers really did it. I mean, that the Deep Strike Warriors did a great job. And after that, it was really just a matter of the brawlers came in. I mean, Lowry was just on the back foot defensive. Not much to be done with that. So, on to game two, Geister Plains. Which will probably be a much quicker game. And then, see what happens in game three. Well, starting out, though, Lowry is in the west side of the map going for shield bots. Okay, this is more typical. And cloaky bots for Google Frog. So, once again, we have the same start as last time. Shield versus cloaky. Which is very typical on Geyser Plains, though not typical for this tournament. This has been the Hovercraft tournament so far. And Dirtbag into Convict for Lowry, so Lowry's super economical, while Google Frog's going for Glaive into Condor, which is also fairly economical and far more combat effective. Though admittedly, Dirtbags do have the headbutt, but still, I think Lowry's only going to be able to block out the factory, is the only useful thing that will happen. That'll only be brief as well. And. Google Frog needs to have all the best micro in order to get rid of this bandit, which I don't think will work with just one bandit versus one glaive. The bandit will win, and Google Frog is just getting out of the way. Just retreating. And yeah, there we go. That dirtbag getting in front of the factory, Google Frog already getting their commander in position to terraform. Although it looks like it's not a big deal. Now it looks like while this unit is stuck, that's about it. Everything. Oh, no, never mind. No, well, it's tricky. Glaives will be able to get out, but anything else is, is just kind of stuck. So Louder might actually be able to make that last for a while. That's rather surprising, in fact. I mean, really, it's not something you see a whole lot. But yeah, apparently that might actually work. So Lowry is going to be pushing forward with the bandits. And just point out that it was Google Frog that won last time. So if Lowry wins this, we're on to game three with Google Frog's map choice. And if not, then uh, Lowry will be fourth place, Google Frog will be third place, and that will be the prompt for the finals. So, either way, something happens. That, that's how well-designed things should work in terms of tournaments, is that 
Something should happen when stuff should happen. There should be some feedback. Like, you know, doing something should have some sort of consequence, and it does. Because this tournament is well designed, and winning gets you a place in the tournament. Winning the bronze match means you're in third place. Yeah, Lowry is gonna be fighting tooth and nail. I mean, I think the last time Lowry got to this point, it was the bronze match and Lowry won. So I'm sure Lowry would have loved to get into the finals, but still a bronze match isn't bad. And Google Frog is setting up well, is setting up. Setting up a center, actually. Setting up a lot in the center. I Lowry not going to the south, and Google Frog neither, but Google Frog has the center, and with that does have a fairly strong economy early on, though so does Lowry. Both players are going for that center expansion, and it's pretty symmetric. Not completely. This is actually one of the least symmetric maps that is played regularly, but this is a fairly symmetric setup, with three metal on each. So both players are even with fairly contested center. And... Hmm. Google Frog is... Looks like they're trying to, trying to get through the solo clash, trying to get through the defenses here, but not really wanting to commit too much to it. Neither are they raiding the base. That's one thing, is not raiding this base back here where there's one Lotus and that's it. Admittedly, okay. Google Frog doesn't know there's only one Lotus, but hasn't also sent a scout to figure out what there is. Not that most players do, actually. That's something I noticed. Most players just don't really send scouts around like that. I really should probably get used to it and stop commenting on it, but... I guess it's one of those things I keep to remind myself because I see everything as a spectator. But the players don't. If they do, they're cheating. But if they don't, that means they're playing normally and then have to actually scout in a more manual fashion. But Google Frog is not really aware of what's going on. Or well, at least he's not a they're not aware of what's going on specifically, other than the shield lock factory and the power plant, but to be fairly obvious about the radar dots, where things are and what things are. Now, whether any of them is a Lotus is yet to be seen, that's one thing. But it looks like Google Frog was trying to scout out to the north and does find a convict, stopping it from, well, killing it after it builds a metal extractor. Fairly cheap metal extractor, though, with 0.7 metal. The metal extractor is of no use, but hey, still metal. I mean, honestly, it's almost probably worse to keep, <laughs> to let Loud to keep it, but. Regardless, Google Frog. Oh, very quickly, yeah, in the center. And threatening Lowry's commander strongly. Between the Lotus and all of these Rockos. Well, Rockos and Glaives. That's just. Yeah, three Rockos, three Glaives. However, that Lotus goes down, and Google Frog's commander, while not threatened, still can't push forward exactly. And Glaze from the north side of the map are coming down while Google Frog is setting up expansions to the north. Lowry, on the other hand, has set up some expansion paths to the south. So it's going to be a bit harder for Google Frog to defend what they have. And admittedly, that was, I think, how, if I recall how Lowry won against Randy. I don't know, it wasn't. It wasn't Randy. Lowry won against Randy because. Actually, it was on this map. I think it might have been on this map, and it might have been because of the harassment that was going on to the north. But Lowry, with his bandits, or their bandits, doesn't feel comfortable against the nine glaives, the six bandits, which actually is a pretty even match. It's tilted in favor of the glaives, but it's not too far off. Our said just building up more convicts and then going to Felon. Looks like Felon convict ball and then push forward with that. Which on this map isn't too bad of an idea, though Fell and Thug Ball would work better, but then it's also more expensive. I mean, Thugs... Actually, not by much. No, not by much. So maybe it's actually better to go Thug, Fell and Ball. Regardless, Lavish Commander is under threat. Under decent threat, too, from these Rockos. And this... Oh, actually, this Sharpshooter. If that Sharpshooter gets the shot off, it's not going to kill it. No, no, that's 1,500 damage. 1,700 health, that's not going to be death. Rocket Launcher Auto Repair System is also not going to be death quickly either. Now a second Sharpshooter would probably do the trick and... Are we going to see a fire? Apparently not. 
Now on the north side of the map, Lowry is coming down, trying to harass these expansions here and tears apart all the glaives that came in single file. And there goes the, there is the sharp shot, kills the commander. Lowry down a commander, and this game is going to be difficult for Lowry to win. Getting that felon up, but still no denying that it's an uphill battle now. It's really hard to say that Lowry has an easy time, has an easy chance. Though Lowry is actually not too far behind, despite losing their commander. They do have this medley structure over to the south, which is which is key. They didn't have this, they'd be hooped. But they just got it, so that's fine. That works out. And then over to the middle. Well, that's where Google Frog is mostly set up. Also in the north as well, and kind of avoids flanking. But at the same time, the north is relatively undefended, other than the two lotuses right here. Those two lotuses are the only line of defense to the north. Everything else is just a bit too slow to be able to get up there efficiently. But at the same time, I don't think Google Frog really cares to. He's going to the south instead, trying to take that out, and then possibly attack through the center of this crater. That crater there has no defenses whatsoever. <laughs> anyway, Google Frog's commander moving down. Will looks... Okay, it looks like Google Frog's going to go for this. And with that, I think if Google Frog cares about this metal extractor, takes all these metal extractors for themselves, that will seal it, and we will move moving on to the finals. Google Frog at third place. And yep, that is it. Not much louder we can do at this point with 14 metal compared to 20 some odd. However, there is an airplane factory and far more convicts than really are necessary. Along with this felon. The felon is the biggest asset Lowry has. It's really the only asset Lowry really has at the moment. Now, felon convict ball is going to be very powerful. But unfortunately, the convict is going to get hit first and not the felon, which means that... Actually, neither, really. The glazers get free reign to run round back and do exactly what they should do. That's exactly what I mentioned should be done. Go around the back and avoid all the defenses. And they are... Goofrog is doing exactly that. Perfect right thing to do. And unfortunately for Lowry, there was no static defense behind the airplane factory. Now, at this point, the Felon is coming in, and the airplane factory is saved. But that was something I mentioned earlier, and Google Frog did ultimately decide to agree with me. So Lowry is going from here. Not many places else because there's going to be maybe some napalm bombers maybe some phoenixes maybe some ravens definitely oh whoa, 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 whoa what is this oh never mind that's a stiletto man thunderbird that was a wyvern for a second i kind of confused thinking you're going for wyvern at this stage in the game with this much money with 10 metal per second 10 minutes into the game you're going for a wyvern no you're not you're going for a stiletto i mean a thunderbird that makes more sense Now, the problem is follow-up force. I mean, the Felon, I suppose it could work. Actually, the Felon would work in time. And nice Roach kill. Yeah, that was actually really useful. That will buy Lowry some time. Not sure if it's going to be enough time. Especially now that it's dropped down to 8 metal per second rather than 10. But it has bought Lowry time. Nope, that's the thing. And Lowry actually doesn't matter, though. Lowry throws in the towel. That is game. And we're going to move on to the finals. That was quick. I think Cubase should be back from the short break that Mentioning was, Mention was going to take. And we will be moving on. So, finals! Yeah! We have finals! So, stay tuned for that. I'll be back with that when it starts. Oh, and if I accidentally start commenting on things that aren't happening, or get commentating and it's like, wait, what the heck's going on? What? What do you mean? Why is there... There's no tech in this game. There's no upgrades. This, this unit doesn't exist. That unit doesn't exist. This, something completely different is happening. That's just sleep deprivation. Don't worry about it. I've just gone insane. Just warning you now, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to maintain a solid connection to reality for the next hour and a half. I'm going to do my best. So let's get this finals on. Once the players are ready. 